All right, hello, hello, my friends. Uh, this is day number two since I got back. And as I promised, I am working on autumn leaf number two. And this is how far along I am on that build. And I wanted to show it on this video because I also wanna, I guess this is gonna be my conversation starter. As you can tell, even though this instrument is acoustic, it is acoustic. It's also quite different or very different from what you would traditionally call an acoustic instrument. The fact that I have a spline, which is, I guess that's what I'm gonna call this, on the body right now might be throwing you off. And you might be saying to yourself, what the hell is Menno doing? It might be obvious to you that uh, there's a big issue with putting a spline in the middle of a guitar body. And that would be that, how is the top gonna vibrate if the top is glued to a spline? But fret not, that's not the plan. The plan is for me to thin out the spline so that there's enough room for the top and the back to vibrate, leaving it just thick enough so that it stiffens the frame. And to make my point clear and to get feedback from you, which is the idea of, of, of this video, I've actually cut out a shim to illustrate what I'm talking about. This shim, as you can tell, is extremely thin and is very, very easy to bend, right? But in this direction, it is not. And that is precisely what I'm attempting to do with the spline. So it's thick in this direction. I'm gonna thin it out so as to not interfere with the front or the back of the instrument, but it should not bend in this direction. And in theory, in theory, it should give me a more stable instrument. What if we find a way to make an instrument that is more resistant to weather and temperature changes? Wouldn't that be cool? Okay, that's it for today. I'm gonna keep on sanding because that's what I do here. I sand and then maybe tomorrow I'll do a short update on the guitar. All right, bye. Be good.